Hey, hey, what is up, everyone? This is Ette with another episode of Eco Lawn Science. Um, first, real quick, I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in. I get uh, every week, I get an update from the, the host of my podcast. I have three different shows, actually, but um, this one <laughs> seems to be the most uh, listened to, um, which surprises me. I didn't know that many people were interested in, in lawn care and things we talk about. But anyway, thank you guys. And we seem to get quite a, a lot of downloads off of this this show. So I guess we're doing something okay. And again, I'm always open to feedback. If you have some ideas or something you'd like to hear an episode about or learn about or something you want me to learn about and study, I would love to. Um, always looking for new stuff. So the topic today came from just some customer service emails, again, from my service company here in Utah called Eco Lawn. And um, I get this question a lot um, from our clients in the different branches, but also um, just people who do their own weeds and spray their own lawn. Um, they, they have the same question. So I want to talk a little bit about it. The question is, how soon uh, should I see my weeds die? How, how long does it take to work? And then um, and the second question follow-up, which came in today from a customer, was do I need to pick them once you spray them? Do I need to do anything? So let's talk about it real quick. So how long it takes, there's a few factors that play into that. Um, that's the tricky part about lawn care. You've got a lot of variables that the applicator doesn't have control over. The weather, um, you know, can peak. It can, can, you know, there's sometimes we could do a treatment. It, it'll be 75, and that, and that within a few hours, it could drop down to 50 or even in the 40s. Here in Utah, it's actually common this time of year, and so that can play a massive impact on the the speed and the effectiveness. Um, of course, you could have rain, um, and on the flip side, you could have a drought. And in, in a drought, one thing people don't realize is when it's that dry, um, the weeds aren't that active, and so they're not going to die as fast they actually die quicker after a spray when there's some moisture in the air and and you're not you know they're not starving for 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 water and so that can play into it um the type of weed so the species the maturity of that weed where it is in its growth cycle all those things can play into it so uh take this with a grain of salt but just know that and then the type of weed control that you use, whether you're using that Savitas or the Fiesta or a 2,4-D or Roundup or a Final Sand, whatever you're using, each one has a different um, a different uh, speed in killing. And so uh, I'll talk a little bit about it. So yeah, first, there's all those factors. Um, but on average, if you're using a, a pretty good, decent, traditional a standard, let's say more of a 2,4-D base weed control, whether that's Trimac or triad or um, I mean the list is endless um, you're going to see about seven days seven to seven days to two weeks really is what you're gonna see you may see curling um, you may see discoloration if you see those things generally you've got it with that type of product you just need to get some on the applicator just needs to touch the plant get it on to the to the to the weed and the weed will do the rest it'll 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 bring it in. It'll it'll drink it in basically and translocate it to the roots. And over a period of these two weeks, roughly again, depending on how mature the weed is in its time of season, the weed will curl up and die. If you've had a treatment or you've done an application and you don't see anything in three or four days, don't panic yet. We like to tell our clients give it about ten days, um, and then if you're still thinking I don't think they got it good or or um, it just doesn't seem like it's dying, uh, we we ask them go ahead and send a picture in, and we'll look at the pictures real quick and. And generally, if we get the picture right, that's all we need to be able to see. Oh, we've got it. Sometimes um, it could be 10 days out, and you might have a little bit of a curl. And I can look at that and say, okay, it's on its way out. Um, usually within the first 48 hours, the, the, the weed control is absorbed, but it, it's a process to break everything down, um, you know, the cells, and to get it down into the, to the roots. And so that, that's how we like to do it. We say, you know, give it about 10 days and send a picture. And, and sometimes, you know, the picture of the weeds look healthy. And so at that point, we'll set up what we call a free service call, free weed touch-up. Um, so if you're doing your own weeds, just give it time. Don't be in a rush, um, especially if, depending on the product. Some products that aren't um, – that may have less active ingredients, they're going to take longer. Um, there's different mixes of products. You know, There's a product called Speed Zone, um, which uses a product – it's a combination. It's one of the actives in it uh, – well, not the actives. The trade name is called Quicksilver. Um, Quicksilver is a cool product, and when you mix it in with uh, any weed control, it can speed it up quickly i mean you could see you could see a weed curl and die in two days um now quick silver can be 180 bucks for a quart right it's expensive 
Um, but on average, I say 10 days, 14 days. If you're not seeing anything that weed looks healthy, then, then give us a call. Um, and so I'd say to you, give it a couple weeks. And if you're not seeing anything, you may have to inspect that weed deeper. Look at it. Do you see any lesions on the, the weed on the blade? Do you see any curling discoloration? Um, if you see a little bit, then just keep, continue to be patient. If you don't see anything, then you may need to spot treat that weed again. Um, now, when you move more into the organic uh, products that I've worked with, they actually, funny thing is they move quicker. Um, the the non-organics are very consistent, very reliable, and they don't seem to be as the um, they don't seem to be as finicky um, as the organics can be. Meaning, they're pretty consistent. You know what you're going to get. With the organics, um, a lot of them, especially the Final Sand, which is the uh, the uh, organic Roundup um, from Newdorf, that that product, uh, you could see in an hour or two, you'll see weeds curling up. And the same with the Fiesta, uh, the Civitas, we'd see that those curl up in a day. Um, but you'll see an initial die back. You'll see those black up and they'll start curling. You're like, wow, I got it. But sometimes um, they don't go all the way. They, they, they start off really strong and they black and then, and then you start losing it. But maybe one part of the weed, maybe um, one blade survives it. Um, and so they're, they're, a, they're a little more tricky to kill. But same thing. I still recommend with those products, give it a couple weeks. Um, be patient. I know everybody wants them to be dead and gone right away. Again, if you're looking for that, you could use that Quicksilver, the, the Speed Zone. Um, it will probably increase your price quite a bit. Those products are about three times the price. Um, but if you just don't have time to wait or you need it, you know, if you're a realtor and you've got a property that's full of dandelions and you've got a showing next week, you're going to go with something like that. Um, and then as far as, you know, do I have to pull the weeds? Do I have to – what do I do? Generally what's going to happen is they're going to just decompose and break down. And usually by the second mowing, it's pretty clean. So what I mean by that is if you were to do an application on May 1st, um, it could still be – and let's say you're, you've got just dandelions galore on this lawn – um, by May 10th, it's still pretty ugly. You'll see a lot of ugly curling and fading. And then you usually by that, so that the first mow, let's say the first mow was May 7th and the 10th, it looks significantly better, but it's still kind of ugly. You usually give it another week, um, you know, by the 15th, by the 18th, and then that second mowing and you'll, that's when it really cleans up. So I, I if you can give it two mowings, be patient, you know, don't just go back out there and keep dumping stuff. Sometimes it just takes time. And again, it depends on if the weather drops. There's so many different variables. So um, it's always good too to track the weather on the days of application and so that you can go back and, and um, you know, do your investigation if you're not getting the success that you want. So I hope that helps. Just a quick one on, on you know, how long does it take, uh, how patient to be, and, and then what to do. And, and you don't have to do anything. I mean, generally with good treatments, they'll curl up. They'll decompose after a couple mowings, and you're good to go. Now, the only exception is if you've got you know a five foot tall thistle, or some really hardy, huge weeds that have already gotten way out of control. Uh, they could be there for weeks and weeks. So sometimes you might mow them down, um, or you might weed whack them down just to just so it's not so ugly. Um, but you don't have to touch them. You can leave them there, and they'll they'll eventually decompose and break down. Um, and if a plant has gone to seed, it's always ideal to cut the seed heads off. Um, if you can. But if you're on a good program, you'll, you'll catch them on the next round of out. So anyway, I hope that made some sense and uh, hope it helps. Um, have fun with the weeds.